Yamna Indo-European cultures Thor, Zeus or Indra, Hindu god. Ancestor, Solution, Plan and Existence. Dwarkesh Patel is the author of a YouTube channel at Dwarkesh Patel with 458 videos. In his channel Dwarkesh Patel interviews author and geneticist David Rye on several occasions. One of the above interviews led to the next video, How Horse Nomads Took Over Europe 5,000 Years Ago. Saurav Jeswal commented on the above video. The title of this video is inspired by his comment. 1. Yamnair people together with other European people, like the Bhutai people, where the descendants are 1A and R1B of the American parents and also founders are 1. Consequently the Yamnair people etc. R1A and R1B are not the founders. Instead the American parent YHPR1 were the founders Yamnair people and others and had their roots in the Americas. One can clearly see this when one looks at maps that present the frequencies of the YHPR tree, root R1 in the Americas to descendants R1A Yamnair and R1B corded where group and beaker group. 2. We show this YHPR tree frequency map and the migration and the consequential population turnover event in several of our videos of our channel Origin for Existence, as well as Climax for Existence. 3. Geneticist David Rye is probably the first scientist that detected and publicly commented on the presence of Native American DNA in Europeans, with the association of Native American DNA with Northern European people presenting the highest association. Geneticist David Rye also detected and publicly commented as probably the first scientist on the disruptive YHPR population turnover events themselves. 4. All this is because the involved YHPR descendants came from the Americas mostly with the help of the North Atlantic Current and Jaya. The involved YHPR descendants came and at least part of them went back in cycles or waves with the same or recycled fleets of ships. David Rye hypothesizes that the Yamnair got absorbed by the Corded Ware group and then later by the Beaker group and those took mainly YHPR1B further in and through Europe. 5. The Corded Ware group and later the Beaker group are new and or more elite or more warfare people and less agricultural, that had arrived by one ship or fleet or incoming waves from the Americas, arriving and landing at the Atlantic facades, through the North Atlantic current, possibly also bringing warfare including chariots or pieces, few more and young domesticated horses, pieces of or mobile blast furnaces and possibly rare ores for alloys with them. Not long before or simultaneous with this North Atlantic invasion also an Austronesian or Central Pacific invasion took place. 6. While the North Atlantic invasion looks advanced because of depicted sails or bows, sperm whales, metal warfare, and tools, the Austronesian or Central Pacific invasion at least in the latest stretch that includes the Indian Ocean looks even more advanced. And we suggest this latter route and and cradle are older and were going on long before and consequently Butai, Yamnair etc., and later founders of Indo-European cultures and languages could be interpreted as Indra, Hindu god, China and or Sumerian descendants. Whatever the North Atlantic invasion would not or could not bring with them on the boats would be arranged or delivered to them quite shortly after the mass or fleet's landing. 7. We are claiming a well-organized kind of military genie international organization with Eurasia sandwiched and turned over by at least two fronts, an Austronesian or Pacific front and an Atlantic front. Roughly in the meeting point in the Middle East, Mesopotamia, Tigris and Euphrates, Fertile Crescent, the transoceanic invaders why will culminate in consensus and evolve to a one-god religion, Bible with flood and the Noah Ark narrative, and form a new global caste or class that will establish a monopolar world first dominated by religion, crusades and later conquests, and later by on Darwinism-based consensus. Post-World War, United Nations, recent tensions with multiple other poles. 8. Once again a perfect storm seems to be folding involving once more DNA degeneration, climate challenges and breakthrough of diseases with also AMR looming. However this time we are with 8 billion humans and have no frontier left which exploration would not pose real risk to lead to acute extinction and will need to go straight to the solution of carbon recycling in soils and use renewable carbon agroforest products and renewable oil substitutes, our Amazon Amarind ancestors once were brilliant at. 9. North Atlantic invasion with YHPR descendants are the latest and most primitive class or caste less developed because caste would need first to conquer and organize continent-scaled areas recently made free of ice or rather effectively make them free of ice in a global climate destructive way, younger driest boundary and consequential ocean level rising or flood, will dominate and conquer backwards to where it came from in the first place, including back to the Americas, after American. Climate destruction and disease left the Americas vulnerable for destructive conquest for the first time. 10. We claim that, 
during the North Atlantic invasion and population turnover with YHPR descendants, possibly more domesticated horses, to be brought to the Atlantic facades, because domesticated horses probably were delivered to or traded with the newly arriving possibly at arrival and possibly directly by the Yamner etc., which had brought over domesticated horses already before which they had large numbers and herds because of intense breeding on the steppes, Yamner together with Sintashta, Bwatai, etc. 11. We claim that as early as 56,800 years ago the same North Atlantic route would deliver early modern humans, related to Lusia and Clovis people, or anatomically modern Homo sapiens, AMH. These would settle in Europe and Eurasia. 12. There is a chance that extensive rows of men here on the Atlantic facades, as for instance in Portal Karnak, France, were to signal, fires and smoke, and organize with men here or standing stones from the ocean incoming troops or maybe even to encounter their dedicated legions or representatives, life support and or horses. 13. We claim that these boats, sails, birds, constellations, fleets, waves, axes, or plow and plans of organizations are depicted on some of the on-site men his and tumulus, all involving standing stones, megalithic sites in the seaside town of Loch Mariaca, with an intriguing cluster of different megalithic structures including the tumulus of Loch Mariaca tumulus of Ergra. 14. Possibly the population turnovers had more strategy behind them than we think of today and also had more of a caste or class system instead of violent genocides by the newly arriving with voluntary exodus of the caste or class of farmers that went further ahead to other less strategic regions and consequently disappear from further genetics, David Rye, 2021. In the locations where the newcomers arrived and form and defend their Atlantic facade bases before starting of the population. Turnover events further ahead, south and land inwards. It would be our pleasure and an honor to better justify our comment directly with David Rye and or Dwarkesh Patel. In the meantime, viewers of the Dwarkesh Patel channel and David Rye related channels could have a look at to both related videos of our Origin for Existence channel. Origin for Existence also means the Amerindian founder and ancestor trees that also hold the knowledge and experience of carbon recycling in carbon agroforests which is essential in the action plan to solve all our challenges to existence, including the already present climate challenges. 120 meter ocean level rising with consequential floodings of some of the most advanced port cities and river deltas and watersheds like Soland and or Sunderland or also called Diluvian, since and possibly caused or exacerbated during the Younger Dryas roughly five to seven thousand years earlier when also the region above Mesopotamia still was more primitive or rather less developed, possibly affected by the consequences of the destruction, ocean level rising, extinctions and the evident possible setback or rather what had caused them and possibly also the later late Bronze Age collapse as well as the earlier Australasian collapse. 15. A. Aryans were descendants from a late Austronesian expansion, Indian Ocean, that also lands in the Indus River Delta, Pakistan, and work upwards the Indus River and Valley, Pakistan and India, while B. Corded Ware and Beaker landing on the northern Atlantic facades including Karnak, France, and Stonehenge, United Kingdom. David Rye, 2021, both being ocean, sea and current, gyre-bound and both coming from the YHPR roots in the Americas, YHPR roots being mutations hybrid descendants of YHPQ and or YHPC, with a higher Neanderthal fraction portion. With the North Atlantic fleet waves being more direct, but the late Austronesian expansions, B, making a much larger detour, Pacific, Ocean, within between cradles pools, with a higher Denisovan fraction portion, possibly also in Seoul, Australia. As ancestor obviously the Americas present both an earlier and still higher Denisovan and Neanderthal fraction portion, haplotype B006 next to the human ancestor Amerindian. 16. These all look to represent ongoing patterns and processes that could be at least partly cyclical and disruptive and possibly related to DNA collapses, by instability and damage further self-inflicting rapid random and destructive and disease-causing mutations, and consequential diseases and epidemics, that we have to keep an eye on and we humans need to prevent for life expectancy and existence to deteriorate and to prevail as much and as long as possible by means of ancient ancestor. Knowledge around and by the carbon recycling agroforest and smart grid-based safe haven model action plan. Thank you.